We are going to dive into Michigan football recruiting news and rumors in the show today. Before we jump in with though, make sure to hit that subscribe button, youtube.com slash Michigan TV. We're right at 13,500 subscribers. If we get to 14,000 before too long, I have been authorized by the fat cats at Chat Sports to do a football jersey giveaway, Jordan brand, the good stuff. So I'll pick a subscriber and frankly, I'll pick somebody who I see always in the comments. So don't be shy in the comments in any of our videos. And back by popular demand, by the way, later in the show, towards the end, eh, maybe at the end in general, we're going to do some more Michigan football trivia. We're getting some great feedback from you guys, liking that we're rolling out these trivia football trivia questions in the offseason and also seeing who knows their stuff, who dives into the uh, comments there with those trivia questions. So make sure you watch to the end. It's the Michigan Football Report by Chat Sports coming up right now. You are watching the Michigan Football Report. I am your host, James Yoder, and we are talking Michigan football recruiting, and we are on the verge of the biggest recruiting weekend Michigan has had in nearly two years, frankly, since the 2019 Ohio State game, and it is all surrounded around this man right here, the number two overall player, five-star defensive tackle, Walter Nolan, from Memphis, Tennessee. He is on campus right now. It's a couple days early from when his official visit starts. Uh, I guess in theory, but his mom's side of the family is from the greater Detroit area. He's got grandparents uh, within a 30, 40 minute drive of Michigan's campus. So apparently he came up a little bit early and uh, is getting some FaceTime in there. He put on Snapchat last night that he was in Ann Arbor, asked who was there to hit him up. But he is headlining this weekend. It is a huge weekend. Michigan has just a few dozen official visitors this weekend. Walter Nolan, got three running backs coming in, George, George Petaway, C.J. Stokes, Dylan Bell, a couple wide receivers, offensive linemen. I think what I'm talking about, nine, ten defensive linemen, a handful of defensive backs as well. So this is going to be a key weekend. Michigan has not had any recruiting commitments uh, in recent, since the new staff turned around, uh, some more recruiting people, some of the coaching staff turnover. So this will be a really interesting one. Michigan has got to put the pedal on the metal. We are halfway through this big month of June. And what I said a few weeks ago, if Michigan does not roll out three, four, five commitments, I think this big recruiting month for them is not going as planned. And the recruiting staff that has been put into place to turn things around with Matt Dudek departing the program won't be off to the start they need if they're going to catch Ohio State. But Walter Nolan is not just visiting Michigan. He's coming up from Tennessee. And where did he stop last night on Tuesday? None other than Ohio State stopped by campus. I was caught off guard by this. I don't think anybody really knew this. Maybe Ohio State obviously did because they had to welcome him on campus. Now, from reading around Ohio State's blogs and what their people think, their recruiting gurus, et cetera, they don't really think that he has a, uh, a chance. They have, they have a chance to land Walter Nolan, but he stopped by campus. They've got the number one uh, class in 2022, had the number two class the last couple of years. You never know what they said to him, right? Maybe a little money in the uh, the pockets. You never know what's going down there in Columbus. But stop by Ohio State on the way up to Ann Arbor on Tuesday. You know, Tuesday all day, came up to Ann Arbor on Tuesday night. And after Michigan, he'll be in LSU next weekend, June 25th. Uh, head down to the Bayou to visit Coach O and the Tigers. Will be an interesting one. From what my take is right now, it is a Michigan, Alabama, Georgia, LSU battle. So, LSU is going to get uh, to make their impression on him after Michigan does. He put out that tweet a couple weekends ago after his Florida visit that he's going to shut down his recruitment, not take any more calls, not talk to the media, all that different stuff. Is Florida still involved? We will see. But that is the latest on Walter Nolan. I expect us to know a lot on where Michigan stands with getting the number two overall player. Quinn Ewers going to Ohio State, number one. Walter Nolan, number two player in the country. Michigan thinks they have a good chance of him. I think we'll see after this weekend. The question of the day I'm going to ask you before we jump into our next topic is predict Michigan's record this season. 12-game schedule. Let's not predict bowl games. If they make one, conference championship games, anything like that. Let's just predict the 12 games on the schedule. So if you know the schedule, go look it up. I'm not going to throw it on the uh, screen for you right now, but let me know. I'm sitting at 7-5 and five right now, maybe 6-6. Six and six. Uh, I'm you know reserving the right to change my prediction as we get into fall camp. We hear what the running backs, what the wide receivers, quarterbacks, really the entire offense, in my opinion, has a lot to prove this year. So go down in the comments, predict Michigan's record in the 2021 season. 
2023 three-star Deion Walker from Cast Tech seems to be trending towards the Wolverines. Now, if you're not really familiar with him, not a ton of people are. He's not one of the recruits that we talk about a lot about on this show, but he is one that Jim Harbaugh and his staff have identified. Mike Hart apparently was following him all around, all around a camp a couple weeks ago at Eastern Michigan. Jim Harbaugh has made it a point to make Deion Walker a focused recruit. Defensive lineman, 6'6", check this out. He's just ending his junior year of high school. 340 pounds. He's the number 367 player in the country. Three-star by 24-7 sports composite uh, out of cast tech. Michigan's pushing for him really hard to get a commitment. Want to keep him away from the Spartans. Obviously dominate the in-state recruiting. Cast Tech, one of the biggest feeders to D1 programs out of the state of Michigan. So if Michigan's identified him as one of the top prospects, him and Walter Nolan would make a heck of an interior defensive lineman combo uh, in this 2022 class. A couple crystal balls, the recruiting gurus who cover this stuff a little closer than I do, putting crystal balls for him today to Michigan so if that plays out, it looks like Michigan could have their first commitment in a while, barring any information or anything that drops between us filming this and you watching it. So that is a story on him. Now we've got another defensive lineman. It's a big defensive lineman uh, theme show. Uh, Texas 2023 five-star defensive lineman David Hicks is currently on campus right now for an unofficial visit. He is out of Allen, Texas, and... Michigan's targeted him as their top overall player from what I know right now from the defensive side of the ball in the 2023 class. He is doing a little tour in the month of June, so don't jump out of your seats that he's visiting Michigan from the state of Texas on his own dime. He's going to a bunch of other schools, but he is one to keep an eye on. Michigan has certainly made certain states in the South, Texas, Georgia, Tennessee, and obviously Florida uh, as big focuses in this offseason with new recruiting staff and a lot of these new coaches. So uh, he's on campus, David Hicks, unofficial visit, camping, working out. Uh, he'll be on uh, campus with Walter Nolan. Maybe they tr tr trade a little uh, uh, cell phone numbers, follow each other on social media, and hey, you know, never know. Perhaps those two could be a 2022-2023 combo defensive, uh, defensive lineman uh, five-star deal to Michigan. So we'll see what happens there. If you guys like the show, help me out. We're trying to get our likes up. We've got initiatives here. We're a business. You guys know how these things work. we got uh, the like police internally coming out and saying, hey, get your likes up on your show. So just do me a favor. Hit that like button. If you love the Wolverines, if you want to see more videos from us, help us hit our goals. Just press that like button and you certainly will do so. We're going to wrap up the show today from a perspective that is not, I guess, a story that's not totally positive when it comes to the uh, prospects and the direction of this Michigan football program. I saw this article earlier today. Michigan has now three incoming transfers in this offseason and 15 players who have transferred out. That's a staggering number. And I haven't done the, you know, the deep math and research on this, but I would guess that's one of the worst in the entire country. 15 players out only three in in the transfer portal obviously Dalen Baldwin you saw on Monday the um, FCS player out of uh, wide receiver out of Jackson State transferring to Michigan originally from Southfield uh, out of high school was an unranked player coming out of high school you got the defensive tackle Jordan Whit Whitley from Oregon State and of course you've got Alan Bowman coming up from Texas Tech those are the players that are coming in to Michigan as transfers this year but the transfers out are numerous and I'll just rattle them off really quick here Linebacker Cornell Wheeler, Willie Allen, who came in, was is in and out with under a semester, never even played for Michigan, but still counts as a transfer. Philip Paea, the defensive tackle, he's gone. Hunter Reynolds, defensive back, safety, played a lot last year as a walk-on. Uh, William Mohan, the freshman linebacker. Uh, Giles Jackson, of course, uh, can't forget about him. Joe Milton, uh, Adam Shibley, started a game or two last year. Ben Van Summeren. Dylan McCaffrey, of course, that one is uh, a while back, but he didn't decide until after the season, January 21st, where he was going. Luigi Villain, he's going to end up at Wake Forest. Zach Charbonnet heading over to UCLA. Uh, Christian Turner, I believe, is heading to Wake Forest as well. Punter, Will Hart. Zach Carpenter going to Indiana, was slated for a starting role this year, decided he did not want to be a part of Michigan's offense any longer. So 15 transfers out, three transfers in for Michigan. My take on this, by the way, is, is cannot continue. If my records are correct, in the last two and a half years, Michigan has had 75 players leave the program to graduation, opt-outs, NFL draft, early enrollee, or transfer. And they've only like 51, 52 players uh, come in. And so I know that doesn't make sense from a scholarship perspective, but somehow Michigan is making the math work. So that is the latest on those numbers, recruiting and the Michigan transfer in, transfer out numbers.
Let's talk about the trivia question of today. I want you guys to put your thinking caps on. If you're a Michigan football fan who's been around since, uh, let's just say, 30, 40 years ago, go back to get this answer. So it's nothing recent. The last time Michigan beat the team that was ranked number one in the AP poll. I want you guys to go down in the comments. Let me know if you know the answer. And as always, if you Googled it, just be a man. Let us know you're Googling it. But let's see who is the Michigan football trivia master. The team that was, no last time Michigan beat the team that was number one in the AP poll.